Thank you everyone for joining. My name is Oren Brigg. I'm a leader of system engineers in Israel, and I have the honor of leading DevNet and programmability across EMEA South. Instead of talking about what Cisco is doing in the various countries, what kind of workshops, design thinking workshops and programmability projects, we wanted to use this opportunity to put our partners, two of our partners, in the front. We have with us, we have uh, Amir Forkash, VP Technologies and Solution from Binet in Israel. Uh, good morning, Amir, how are you? Good morning, Oren. Fine, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. I hope to be useful. Wonderful. Thank you for that. Uh, Amir, can you tell us a bit about how did, change, uh, how did DevNet change your, the way you do business with the customer? How do, does it change your revenue streams? Yes, uh, uh, look, Oren, um, we always look to be unique. Uh, and, and, and as you know, when we're working with a, a product, we usually use the vanilla. But uh, uh, on the last years, we found that the customer uh, first choice is not the vanilla anymore. Customer looking for unique solution. They, they, uh, they, they are looking for uncommon combination of states of values and and we found that the devnet uh, uh, helping us to close the gap between the customer's needs and the product specification and as you know customers needs are endless and endless and we move from thinking of a product for all of us to solution for each of us that's what devnet changed in our in our, in our mindset that's very interesting to hear. Can you give us perhaps an example or two of solutions that you created using DevNet and programmability on top of uh, Cisco uh, solutions? And we uh, created a product for the contact center uh, uh, technologies uh, called ACE, like the card. Uh, the ACE is actually a platform of, of a, a lot of, uh, a, a, of micro applications, uh, the real time, the dialer, the desktop, that are based on Cisco contact center, CCX and CCE, cloud, on-prem, all options. Uh, uh, and with our other partner, uh, you can see here the list, uh, we're creating a value solution with many kind of flavor, many kind of flavor that create a, a, a very powerful solution. And we, and we found that, that we, we creating new value for each customer. And, and I, I almost uh, cannot find a uh, same implementation between customers. It's very interesting, but with same product. Okay. That, that is very interesting. So Amir, because this is a quick session, any, any last words, any takeaways you'd like our audience to do something they need to do tomorrow morning or right after DevNet Create ends? Do not afraid to move against the stream. Because if you move with the stream, uh, you will use the product and, and you will find that all, all, your, all your competition will use the same product. You need to change, you need to find your flavors. And the flavors can uh, be created by using Taylor applications. That's, that's what we are doing with DevNet. Wonderful. So Amir, thank you very much for the time. Um, Thank you. So now I would like to welcome Andre Matias, the founder and CEO of Visiologic in France. Hello, Andre. How are you today? Hello, I'm fine and I'm glad to be here with you today. Perfect. Thank you very much for being here. Can you tell us a bit about uh, Visiologic and what uh, what are you and the company are doing? Yes, so Visio Visiologic is an on-premise and mono-vendor uh, platform uh, built around uh, Cisco video endpoints and WebEx. Okay, that, that's interesting. So working with video endpoints and WebEx, how do, are you using DevNet and APIs and programmability to create additional revenue streams for the company? Yes, so uh, our clients are mainly large organizations, private and public. And of course, we generate revenue because we create value for them. It's very easy. So how, how we do that? We use your APIs to get the best out of your video endpoints. And we drive adoption by uh, 
uh, improving user experience, optimizing resources, and uh, managing issues, of course. And uh, our biggest challenge okay. is to give everybody the the best collaborative experience in the in a digital workplace. That sounds amazing, providing the best virtual uh, experience for the customers. Can you give us perhaps a few examples of actual developments that you created in order to improve the experience? Yes, of course. So few people know that like, uh, you know, smartphone apps, we can also create apps on your video endpoints using X API provided by Cisco. Uh, so at uh, Visiologic, we implemented the uh, uh, enterprise uh, app store uh, which contains a lot of ready to use apps, but we can add some custom tailored apps if needed. Uh, I can give you some examples. So COVID apps, for example, that are used to track uh, real time presence in rooms. And if a uh, security threshold is crossed, then we will raise some alerts. Uh, uh, I can speak also about global directory for codex available in different formats, flat, free, searchable, and so on. Uh, OBTP button, one click join button. Um, and uh, of course, a lot of application around smart building uh, that let user control room temperature or lights or uh, window blinds directly from the Cisco touch panel. In addition to all that, we provide also uh, custom segmented reports and insights for management in order to support uh, decision making. Uh, and for example, let's take uh, uh, WebEx internal billing report, which is used by manager to, uh, to split the global cost of uh, WebEx uh, by entity, by team, by, by location. And this is very according to their usage, of course. And this is very interesting in large organizations. Uh, we have also a WebEx adoption uh, report, uh, morning checks, uh, CSR reports. Uh, I can speak a lot about all, all the future we provide, but to make a, a, a long story short, I'll say that uh, Visiologic using Dev app, De De DevNet and APIs uh, provides uh, innovative collaboration solutions that uh, satisfy the unique user needs across organizations. That's uh, that's wonderful. Thank you very much for that. Um, Andre, last question. Thank you. What would be the closing words? What should the audience of the session do tomorrow morning or right after DevNet Create ends? And what I'll say to do is to take uh, a Cisco product and uh, try to play with, with uh, it. So uh, take the documentation, look at the APIs that can be used to, to customize that product. And I'm sure you will find a lot of uh, usages that are interest, interesting for your clients. Wonderful, thank you very much, Andre. As you can see, partners across EMEA SARF are changing their revenue streams and changing and tailoring the Cisco solution to better fit their customers. I hope you enjoyed this session, and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the amazing session that we have prepared for you during DevNet Create. Enjoy the rest of the day, enjoy the rest of DevNet Create, and I hope to see you soon.